So in the last video, we sketched out our tip calculator and we made a very basic TK enter window. In today's video, we are going to actually create some of the widgets that we that use to make up our program. And again, widgets are things like buttons, they're labels, they're entry fields, they're sliders, they're scrollable windows, they're canvases for drawing. There's a ton of different widgets, only a few of which we're going to talk about um, over the next few videos. So let's get started building. One thing to note is that our main loop line of our program is going to be the very last line. So all of the construction that we do is going to be within these two lines. So before we actually start adding widgets, we need to create some variables that are going to be used throughout our program. And tkinter handles variables in a slightly different way, which we'll kind of talk about as we go. So the first thing I'm going to need to know is the total cost of the meal. And I'm going to make that equal to what's called a string variable. And a string variable is just a variable that holds a string in tkinter. And you can use you can use those variables to assign to labels, to entry fields, so that we can get the information from them and then update them within our program. I'm also going to need to know the number of diners. Oops. And since that's, we hope it's going to be a whole number, I'm going to make that an int variable, or an int var. I'll also need to know the final amount per person. And that'll be a string var. And as you may suspect, this is probably not going to be a whole number. But remember that you can convert strings to floats. We're going to do that uh, later on in our calculation part. And then finally, I'm going to do a tip amount variable, which will also equal int var, since we're going to say that's going to be a whole number. The tip will be 15% or 20%. And again, we can convert that later. And I forgot to put the TK enter in front of it. So those are the main global variables that we're going to use throughout our program. So now let's actually start adding some widgets. So the first we're going to add is, remember if I go back to our sketch, we had a title. So let's go ahead and add that title. And I should say that in this first round, we're just going to create a very basic layout and we'll try to make it better in the next series of videos. So I'm going to create a title label, which is the variable that's going to store this information. And it's going to be a type TK enter label. So when I create most widgets, um, I usually define the type of widget, whether it's a label, a button. And the first parameter is always what frame is that widget going to go into? Well, right now we only have one frame, which is the root frame. So the first argument is going to be root. After that, there's a lot of different parameters that you can put in these parentheses to configure uh, your widget. In this case, all we need is text. And we'll call this simple tip calculator. i put some quotes around it. And there we go. I have a label. So let's go ahead and run this. Well, here's my window, but I don't see my label. And that's because when you add a widget to your program, it actually takes two steps. One is to configure the label itself, and the other step is to actually place it on the screen. And TK Enter has three different ways to do this. We're going to use what's called the grid geometry method. And the way the grid geometry method works is it kind of breaks the screen up into a series of rows and columns. So we're going to go title label dot grid, and we're going to put it in the first row and the first column. And if we go back to our sketch, it is kind of in the first row, and there's only one column at this point, so it's the first row first column. And we're going to adjust some of this later. So now let's go ahead and run this. And I have a label, simple tip calculator. And you notice that unless I tell it otherwise, the window resizes to fit whatever widgets you have. So since I only have one label, the window resized to fit that. I could make it bigger if I want, but it still stays on this side. 
Okay, stuck to this side. Okay, so now we have a title. Let's go ahead and add some more information. So if I go back to my sketch, I notice that the next line has kind of this text, which is a label, and then what's called an entry field, where the user can enter some information. So I need to add another label and then an entry field. So I'm going to do a meal cost label, and it equals a, another label. It's also going to go in the root window, and its text is going to be meal cost. And again, if I want it to show up on the screen, I have to grid that widget as well. So I'll do meal cost label, grid. And since it's below the title, it's going to go in the second row, but it'll still go in the first column. And while I'm here, let's go ahead and add the entry field. So meal cost entry equals DK enter. It's going to be an entry field this time, still in the root window. And instead of text, I'm going to use one of these variables that I created earlier. So instead of text, it's going to be text variable. And it's going to be cost. And the reason I do this is I want to be able to access what's in that entry field once the user types it in. So later on, when I set up my calculation button, I want my program to be able to get the information that's in the entry field and use that to calculate the total cost of the meal. So I need a variable to do that. And the way TKinter does that is by assigning a text variable to the entry field so I can access it later. And then let's go ahead and grid that. And now this time, it's going to be in the same row as the meal cost label. So I'll say row equals 2. And this time, the column equals 2. So it should be in the same row, but one cell or one block over. Let's go ahead and run that and see how this looks. And you can see I've got my title up here. I've got my meal cost label. And I've got a very large entry field. And again, in the next set of videos, we are going to will make this look a little bit better. Right now it's kind of rough. Let's keep on setting up our GUI. Let me go back to the sketch. I know that the next line has another label and this time a slider. So let's go ahead and put that in. So I'm going to need a tip amount label and that's going to equal a TK enter label. Still goes in the root window and the text is going to be tip amount. Now let's go ahead and grid that. And it's going to be one row underneath the entry field, so it's going to be in row three, and I'm going to go back to column one this time. And then I have to do my slider. In TK enter they call sliders a scale. So let's go ahead and enter that. So tip um, amount scale equals tk enter dot scale and again that's going to go in the root window scale takes slightly different parameters than the label or entry field does I want to know the range of values that my scale can go to so I'm going to type in from and then an underscore an underbar and the reason we have to do that is because from is a keyword in Python already, and this is help us distinguish. So from equals 15. So I'm going to start at 15 because we should never tip lower than 15%. My 2 equals 30. Again, I probably could go higher, but 30% seems a pretty generous tip. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do orient equals horizontal. And notice that my, my slider bar is horizontal in this case. You can have sliders that go up and down, and in that case you would change the orientation to vertical. So I have one more thing to add to the tip amount scale, and that is another variable. So in the entry field, we use the, the term text variable. In a scale widget, we just use variable. And the variable is going to equal tip amount. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and grid our tip amount scale. And we're going to put it in row three again. And this time we're going to put it in column two. So let's run this and see what this looks like. And now you notice that we have our label, our entry field, but now we have a slider or a scale with a number up top. And when I drag it, the number changes and it goes from 15 to 30. So we have a way to variably get the tip amount. So that's pretty cool.